I think it's really amazing that Lomo decided to bring back an old historic lens. The new aperture ring is so helpful in the field. It produces this beautiful bokeh around the subjects. It's a pretty exciting lens to be able to have and to be able to use. Hi, my name is Julia Kroshlov and I'm a photographer based in Brooklyn, New York. The 80.5 vocal length is especially unique and nice to have when you're shooting portraits but you can't be so close to your subject. So my name is Richie Duque. I'm a filmmaker and a photographer. You know, a reason I wanted to shoot with a new Petzval art lens was also that it, it, it always has this kind of special characteristic that kind of sets you apart. My name is Jeffrey Berliner. I'm the executive director of the Penumbra Foundation in New York City. The thing about the Petzval lens is that it's many lenses in one. So the Petzval has a curves field it's called the Petzval effect. Now, back in the 19th century, um, they would use a lens that would cover much more than the lens was used for because the curved field created the sweet spot in the lens that was sharp. We discovered that we like the area outside of that sharp spot. That's where all the swirly bokeh and the interesting things happen. My name is Marcus Russell Price. I'm a photographer and videographer living in Brooklyn, New York. Until now, you'd have to go and hunt for some of these ancient lenses that are really hard to find. But Lomo's taken out the legwork for us and they developed their own line of Petzl lenses, so that's why I get really excited and geeked out to use them. The aperture ring is non indexed which means it doesn't have that uh, click, click, click that you might be used to. It has a very smooth sweep to it, so it's great for video use. Bokeh control. Um, was designed to have a dial-in or a different amount of bokeh that can be used or changed according to how much you turn the dial on the lens from the least amount of bokeh of one to the most amount of bokeh of seven. So another cool thing about the uh, the Lomo Pestival lens here is that you have the ability to use their aperture plates, which you you drop right in there, like almost like you're putting a piece of toast in a toaster, um, and that affects sort of like your bokeh shape. They have lots of different shapes, like hearts and stars and like more abstract things. But it's cool because it kind of adds an unpredictability to what you're shooting. Because I mean, who else does that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> 